everybody, it's your crazy Bangle Show. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the eighth episode of The Bad Batch, and already we can see the thumbnail of the of the of the show. It is called Reunion, and Crosshair is on the cover of this episode. Would have liked it to be a little bit less giving in terms of what this episode's going to be, because usually you can read what's going to happen by the thumbnail. And the fact that the crosshair is on there that we know, it would have been cool to have it as a surprise, but sort of like last episode, because last episode was so good. But anyway, that's fine. I can overlook it, because we were going to cross paths with crosshair again anyway, so that's fine. But, guys, last episode was, and I said that for the previous episode too, but... I mean, so far, the last two episodes of this show was my favourite. So well done, and just story-wise was so good. And obviously, last episode we saw Rex, so I'm obviously, as you guys would have seen last episode, I love Rex, and just seeing him again made me so happy and brightened up my week. So um, I'm excited to watch this episode, so let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Have them returned alive. I have no interest in a group of rogue clone deserters. If you find them on Broca, terminate them. Oh shit. The Prime Minister is losing power. Like this. Settle owe us for a change. If we left with Rex, we wouldn't have to owe Sid at all. He's on a different path than us. Hunter. We're soldiers. What other path is there? Ooh, Echo's not happy. We can no longer delay. The Empire's mission on Brock opposes a threat to our contingency plan. Ooh. I will have to call upon further assistance. Is that why? We already have someone handling matters. As long as one of these bounty hunters deliver the young clone intact, oh. that is all that should concern us. Ah, so they were the ones who put the bounty on um, Omega. I'm blocking their scanners. That won't stop him. Come on. Yeah, Crosshair will be able to find them. Oh my god! There they are. Oh! Stand down. Crosshair, wake up. You're being controlled by an inhibitor chip. He's telling the truth. The Kaminoans put chips in all the clones. Remember what I told you in the brick? You can't help it. Oh. Aim for the kid. <gasps> No, not a mega. Oh, nice one. Oh, thank God. did get to cross here a little bit not that much it's sort of like i feel like i'm just pausing it because i feel like i'm not sure if anybody else picked up on it with the last season um with jesse i felt like jesse did hesitate for like a second when he was under audi i was about to say order 99 order 66 <laughs> um and um Especially when Rex was speaking to him, like, for a moment he had the guns down and he was listening and then he, like, sort of changed, like, sort of, like, his trajectory and said, like, Commander Rex, you, you're a traitor to the, to the Empire, la la la. And just, like, like, I feel like Crosshair had a little bit of a moment there, but I think it's going to take more than that. Because even with him, he was so far under the influence of Order 66 that, like... It was so easy for them to make him one of their own. So I hope that we'll be able to get him back. If not, I think, like I said last time, um, one of my sort of theories, or not sure yet, because obviously we do have future episodes in next season, um, if Crosshair might get killed by Bad Batch or gets executed by the Empire if he tries to turn good. That's going to be really sad if that happens. Oh, Damn. Oh my god. This, like, the animation has gotten so much better and so much more cinematic. It's so cool. Well, it's always been cinematic, but it's even better now with better technology. What if they turn the engines on? That's my worry. Oh! Um, excuse me. Move! Yes, he would under Order 66. 
or even less. Oh damn, they've got to do it. There's no other choice. Oh my god, the stakes. I don't think the stakes have ever been this high in normal Clone Wars. They're going to be incinerated by an engine. This is huge. Oh my god. That's so cool. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, 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 hey, hey, oh, Jesus. They got there. Wait. <gasps> Fennec? Someone's here. One much work. <gasps> oh my god! Omega, get behind me. This fool! Oh my god! I forgot that he's still alive! She's with us. She's not going anywhere. That's unfortunate. For you. <laughs> Real cowboy western. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Oh, no, Hunter! No, 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 no. Oh no! Oh, shit! <gasps> Crosshair! Oh my god, this is like a video game. This is sick. Hunter. He took Omega. Who? Crosshair? No. Bounty hunter. We have to find that. Shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! That credits, like, there's no, like, they're not even playing the theme. That's how bad it is. What are they going to do to her? Oh, my God. No, because I thought it was Finnick, which means Finnick was hired by somebody else. Was it? Or was the... Oh, what the... the oh, my God. Like, who hired Finnick? And well, what if it's two different people? I don't know. Oh, God. What if they hired Finnick? And not- oh, I need to find out this bounty hunter's name. I can't remember his name. I know him from Clone Wars, but I can't remember his name for the life of me. Um, let me get it. Oh, a Cad Bane. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I was thinking, I was like, I can't remember your name, but I knew him from all the- Because he's in a lot of my favourite episodes of Clone Wars. So that's why I was like, oh my god, I know you, but I can't remember your name. Um, Jesus. That was a roller coaster of a, of a um, episode. Because I thought- Oh my god. Yeah, like with Crosshair and stuff, amazing. That was so cool. And the fact that, like, Crosshair still has all that info about, um, the Bad Batch still. And, like, he knows their tactics and it's so easy for him to follow them and stuff. So cool. And even I, I, I sort of liked how they had to escape through the engine. Because you never get to see any of that sort of architecture in Clone Wars, like, in, in Clone Wars, you obviously see the ships, you're fighting on the ships, but you never see that sort of thing, and just seeing it coming to life, oh my god, that was terrifying, and then, like, it breaking away, and then Crosshair getting the damage, that was sad, because, like, again, like, I'm still thinking about the original Crosshair, not Crosshair Order 66 version, but still, because, like, oh, it's so sad. And heartbreaking. And then that moment where, like, you know, they go to the hangar and the hangar, like, all the clones are, like, unconscious. And it's like, wait, no. They're not even there yet. Like, how did they get... Because I thought when the when the camera was panning, I thought it was going to pan towards the ship and Hunter and um, Omega would be on it. But then it didn't. And I was like, oh, wait, they just arrived. That means somebody's there. So then I was like, Finnick, of course. It, it's probably her. That's probably who they hired. And no... Did they actually get Cad Bane? So, the thing is, like, is Cad Bane working for the Prime Minister? Or is Fennec working for the Prime Minister? That's the thing. Who are these two working for? Unless they got multiple bounty hunters for the same bounty. Because in Mandalorian, that was said that the multiple, like, bounty hunters were sent on the same mission to get Grogu. Okay, so this is post-editing Shime coming in here. Because, um, I was freaking out because I thought that, um, Cad Bane was 
um, hide by somebody else. But in reality, I went back and I was editing, and I'm looking at the scene with the Prime Minister right now, talking about, you know, the different things. And, um, yeah, I thought that Cab Bane had been picked up by somebody else, but now I realise after watching the scene with the Prime Minister that happened early on, because I forgot what he said. He, I think they were the ones who hired Cad Bane, so it wasn't somebody else. So, we're fine. <laughs> I'm guessing that Omega is on the way back to Kamina, which is also a good thing, because I thought that, you know, somebody else might have taken her and they might be, like, you know, just stealing her for money and selling her. So, in a good way, um, it's not some random taking her. Um, yeah, anyway. Nah. And that ending, that credits ending was not good because that's usually the ending we get when we get to like the second last episode of the season. This is episode 8. We're not even, well, 8, 16. Well, now we are at the halfway point because I think it's 16 episodes from the top of my head. If not, uh, but, oh my god. Like, it's getting to that point where things are getting really, really bad for the Bad Batch. Oh god, this was a great episode in terms of, te again, they're doing tension so well, especially because this season is full of it. It's post, like, the, the Republic, it's the Empire, every moment is precious and every move is, like, important. And, yeah, it's really interesting to see what happens each episode and, like, the stakes, etc. It's very interesting. And, yeah, oh god, now I'm nervous for next week, for the next episode. It's gonna be interesting. To see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens. It's going to be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment. And tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Bad Batch. Episode 8 Reunion. Again, absolutely loved it. Another conversation that I really loved was Echo talking about Rex. Because obviously Echo and Rex are technically the last two soldiers from the original like Republic Army. As the clothes that we love. Um, other than like Wolf and stuff. Who later get changed and helped. Obviously maybe by Rex or maybe even Ahsoka. Depending. But um, or even Bad Batch. It depends. But um, what we've seen so far. I love that Echo was talking to um, Hunter. About Rex's plan to leave. Um, and like how he didn't really agree with Hunter. In a certain way. He was saying like we should have gone with Rex. Because what other life is there than being a soldier? So it's really interesting to see that sort of post-Republic, like, war, like, post-war sort of, like, area that's sort of, like, connected to real life in terms of that. And it sort of reminded me of, like, example, like, the wars of, like, old, like, World War One, World War Two. You do all this fighting for so many years and you get to the end of it and it's like, what other purpose, like, do these soldiers have? Or these soldiers sort of think that. Or even the nurses or people who were involved with the war, they're like, what do we do next? We've been fighting for so long, we've won or lost. What do we do now? Like, that's the thing. So it's very interesting to see that conversation bringing up in terms of Star Wars and the clones, especially because even, like, with Rex... Rex's episode with, um, what's his name? I think it was Cutter or Cut or something like that. The, the guy we saw in episode two. So, like, I was wondering, like, like, especially with Rex said, he said, like, all I know is being a soldier. So that's really interesting to see that. And that's sort of, like, the whole conversation that's been happening throughout the past few episodes. Like, what do these clones do once their job is done? And obviously they do, Order 66, but the rest of them who don't have that order in their mind, like, what other job do they have? And that's very interesting. And I think we're going to see that conversation being brought up a lot more. And it's going to be interesting, no matter the... Like the wherever it's gonna wherever it's gonna head, that's it's gonna be interesting. Now I'm scared for Omega, my little baby, and just oh, when Hunter got shot, I was like, don't you dare kill off Hunter right now! Like how dare you! Like we got Rex back last episode. Do not take away Hunter, who is the leader of this group right now, especially by a bounty hunter. No. So thankfully he's all right. Um, and again, this whole episode, much like the last episode, very cinematically beautiful. Like, there were so many shots that just, like, I love. And just, like, like, just taking in the whole, like, pulling it back. So, like, the engine, and then you see, like, all, like, the Bad Batch coming out slowly. And then when, um, there was that other one. Oh, yeah, when you see, um, Crosshair walking forward and his helmet's off. And then all the lights are just in the back. And then the lights are just in the background. So... So beautiful. Absolutely love that stuff. And just... Oh, now I'm scared and I'm worried. I don't know. Oh, God. Cad Bane as well. He's a great bounty hunter, but he pisses me off because he always hurts the good people. And I remember he... 
I think he fought Ahsoka and tortured her a bit in last, in not last season, sorry, in the Clone Wars. Oh, that made me so mad when that happened. But anyway, we'll end it here. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!